everyone welcome to yet another plan with me video my name is Amiza before we start as always here are all the supplies that we are gonna be using in this month's setup I am gonna start this video with a story behind this theme so I originally planned to film and upload this video earlier than this but unfortunately I had a serious creative block to cut the story short I can't explain why but I always picture my March theme to be something in green but I've done leaves I've done plants I've done clovers and I don't want to recreate my own theme from last year's because I already did that last month so I decided to ask you guys on my Instagram story and this is how I came up with this theme my theme for this month is watermelon as I mentioned just now yes I did ask you guys on my Instagram story but no nobody really came up with this particular theme um, because there were so many suggestions like plants, fruits, shapes so I thought um, it is best and fun for me to combine some of these suggestions in case you guys can't tell from this video to create the watermelon, I just draw this half sphere and triangular shapes on my thumb by using my Crayola Super Tips in the color of blush pink. After that, I went ahead and pressed my thumb randomly on this cover page and once I've done, I went ahead and outlined the watermelon with my fine liner. I also added some details for the seeds and I added the green skin or the rind by using my Crayola Super Tips in the color of light green. Of course, you can draw this watermelon directly on your cover page as you usually do to your other doodles but I found that the thumbprint technique fits more into my style and my aesthetic. It is very easy and fun to create and I mean it when I say I love how these watermelon slices turned out. I think we all can agree that this technique somehow help to make these watermelon slices look realistic they look a little splotchy a little transparent with some parts darker than others just like an actual watermelon moving on to the next page this is my monthly log or monthly spread so for this spread I first draw these lines that also act as the divider for each week as usual the size for each day is 5 times 5 grids I am kinda into this whole open calendar layout lately I feel like it gives me more room for my tasks it also looks more minimal and since my theme for this month is a bit colorful i wanted to make sure that my whole setup will still look as neat and minimal as what i usually go for i use the empty space in the left hand side of this spread for my notes and also youtube ideas i also decided to decorate this section with some watermelon slices by using the same technique that i used for my previous pages in case you guys don't like this type of layout, I have a video where I showed to you guys a few different monthly log layouts to choose from. I will make sure to include the link to that video in my description box down below. So back to this monthly log, of course, you can just leave this section as is. I decided to use this light grey Tombow dual brush pen in code N95 to create some lines for this section because I feel like this whole spread is too minimal to my liking. So by adding these lines, I think it sort of balanced everything out. And to complete the whole setup for this monthly log, I then went ahead and write down the header in the upper right corner of this spread. 
the next spread is my habit tracker page nothing really fancy going on with this month's tracker this is the same layout that I've done um, I think multiple times already but in case you guys are new to my channel the section on the left hand side is for the habits or things that I wanted to track and the section above this box is for the days and dates of the month and same with the note section in my monthly log I decided to draw these watermelon slices here as well uh, but as you guys can see I did some mistake here but it can be easily fixed with my pencil fine tip correction pen and speaking of fixing mistakes, I also have a video where I show to you guys my favorite go-to ways when it comes to fixing mistakes in my bullet journal. The link to that video will be included as well in the description box down below in case you guys are interested. The next page is my mood tracker page. This is the second time I create mood tracker spread. I did mention last month of the reason why I don't usually have one in my bullet journal. But after trying it for the first time last month, I feel like I kind of like it. It gives me an overview of how my moods are throughout the month so to create this mood tracker I first draw 31 watermelon slices randomly on this page with my pencil after I am happy with the placement I went ahead and traced them with my fine liner I also drew the rind and the seeds to make sure that all these watermelons are ready to be filled in after I am done with that, by using the same fine liner, I went ahead and write down the date beside each watermelon slice. And in case you guys are wondering, to fill in this mood tracker, I am planning to do the same technique which is the thumbprint technique and I will just fill in this tracker accordingly. The next and the last spread I have for this month's setup is of course my weekly spread. So for this weekly spread, I first drew 8 boxes, 7 for the days of the week and another one is dedicated for next week's tasks. The size for each box is 14 times 8 grids. The empty space on the left hand side is for my notes section and I also decided to add some watermelon slices on the right hand side of this spread. If you guys notice from this video, I draw or outline these watermelon slices very loosely like I don't really follow exactly the placement of the prints that I created with my thumb if that makes sense but if you want to, you can go ahead and do so you can also use your other fingers to make the prints or if you don't like watermelon, you can create any other fruits or flowers by using this same technique In case you guys are curious, I am using this slightly dark shade of green to fill in the empty space in between this watermelon because as I said, I want my March theme to be somewhat in green but you can leave it as is or if you prefer, you can also use any color that you want. So here's the final flip through of this month's setup. I really like how this one turned out. I think my theme for this month is very cute. And to explain as in why I choose pink instead of red, for those of you who didn't know, March is my birth month. So I kind of like to include something that I like, something that I obsessed with to make it look more personal to me so that it explains my choice of color for this month. 
but anyway i hope you guys enjoy watching this video today and if you do i would really appreciate it if you guys can consider liking this video and also subscribing also let me know if you guys have any questions and suggestions and i will talk to you guys again in my next video until then bye bye